Hello and welcome to my show, Legal Messages. Today I have brought before you a very interesting case. It's a case between Shaukeen and the state of UP. This is a landmark uh, case. This case gives a landmark judgment in the areas, in the field, uh, in which uh, it talks about how the police can proceed for arrest and what are the limitations, what are the requirements for arrest in cases where the punishment for that offence is up to seven years. This case uh, is one from Allahabad High Court of Judicature. Its, uh, its number is Criminal Miscellaneous Writ Petition Number 17410 of the year 2011. This case primarily talks about uh, three, four things, the major things which I will be discussing today. Uh, this case talks about section 41 1b and its application, section 41a, section 161, 167 sorry, 1, 167-1 of CRPC. All the three sections are from CRPC. Uh, before getting into the important points of the case, I will go through, I will briefly go through what are the provisions in these three sections. The section 41 1b talks about arrest of a person in cases where the punishment is of up to seven years. It says that police cannot randomly, arbitrarily go for arrest in such cases. It has to go through the scrutiny of the case following uh, taking into account, account four or five major things. First, is the, first thing is that uh, it can go for arrest if it feels that the accused, that the person who has been accused can repeat the offence if, if he is not arrested, or if he she is not arrested. Second, there is a chance of tempering of evidence by the person. Third, the person can, person has uh, so much of clouds, person has uh, so much of thing in him that he can influence the evidence, influence the witness or influence persons who are acquainted with the facts and circumstances of the case. Or if he is not arrested, it will be difficult for the police or if it will not be possible for the police to bring him to get him to the court for the purpose of trial. So this was section 41 1b. If the person uh, is likely to violate those things, the police in those cases can go for the arrest and arrest the person. Now, the second section, section 41, 1, 41A of CRPC, Ektalis A CRPC. This section talks about putting notice putting on person who is accused of that thing, who is accused of an offence which is punishable up to seven years of imprisonment for the purpose of asking him to come at a required time, at a required date or at a required place. So if the person is not arrested through the section 41 1b, then that person could be put on notice and notice could be served to that person that he should uh, and notice is uh, served and a, and a bond is taken from that person that now he is not being arrested wherever he will be required he will have to come uh, to the place asked by the police either the police station or any other place or the court. The third section 16.167.1 of the CRPC talks about the process of remand. Uh, this section uh, tells us that if a police investigation is not completed, police is unable to complete its investigation within the stipulated 24 hours time which has been provided in section through the sections 57 of the CRPC. Police is not able to complete its investigation. It can take the accused to the court and ask for its remand. And uh, magistrate, after applying the judicial mind, can provide the remand 
for further say 15 days uh, for the purpose of investigation for the purpose of uh, completing the investigation so these three sections of the crpc has been amended uh, through the uh, through the amendments that i have talked about now this case explicitly talks about these things and it has laid emphasis on the fact that the police personnel cannot simply go and arrest a person without having a genuine reason uh, without having a concrete evidence or witness against the person against the accused uh, it's through its direction it has given some illustration as well it has given illustration of three cases i'll go through the illustrations in the first illustration that uh, this order gives, this illustration is about uh, a case, say a case of a motorcycle theft. And uh, in that case, if the police arrest a person, arrest a co-accused, and that co-accused names another person who he says is involved in that process, in that theft, the police may go for the arrest because in that situation it is likely that if it does not the police does not go immediately for the arrest of that person who has been named by the co-accused the co-accused uh, the person who has not been named in the FIR could escape could not turn up uh, when required for the purpose of investigation or the for, for the purpose of trial or something like that so the court says in that order that the police in such cases may go for the arrest of the person uh, the person which who, have been, who has been named by the co-accused. In another illustration of uh, cases pertaining to section 498A uh, of IPC which talks about cruelty on wife by husband or her relatives or both. The court order says that if after the violence, after the uh, incidents which uh, the girl, the wife reports if the wife goes to her mica and uh, settles and lives there, there is a very little chance or no chance of further violence or cruelty on her by the husband or the relatives of her husband. In such cases, the court says through its order, through this order, uh, that the police may not necessarily go for the arrest, as there is very little likely that the woman will go through any further cruelty. So, in such cases, the court directs that the police should avoid arrest as far as practic practicable unless there is a very genuine chance of uh, violation of the uh, those conditions which 411B talks about. Hello and welcome to my service. Second restriction is given about the EC Act, Essential Commodities Act. It says that for suppose there is a dealer who has been found uh, doing unfair means in terms of the uh, public distribution system delivery and his license has been quashed. In that situation, if once since the license has been quashed, it is unlikely that it will influence the process further. In that situation also, the court advises that the police should not readily go for the uh, arrest unless there is a chance that he could get the affidavit from the person affected through any means so that he could get the relief. So it has given, the court has given through its, uh, through its uh, order three illustrations uh, which talks about in what circumstances the police can go for the arrest of a person or when the police cannot go for the arrest of a person in the cases where the punishment is of up to seven years. It has also talked about that uh, in kind of detail the remand process. It says that for providing before providing the remand to the uh, uh, police, the uh, magistrate should apply the ju judicial mind in a very proper way and should scrutinize the writings in the diary. It should not be a, it has uh, as as it has written in the order that it should not be a mechanical way of giving just giving away the remand. It should try to find out uh, whether the police is genuine in its approach for going for the arrest through the readings of the diary, through going through the points mentioned in the diary. 
it is also talked about the through order it is also talked about uh, going for kind of punitive action against those officers who deliberately violates this these amendments that is 411b 41a 167-1. Like in many instances it has been found that the police does it uh, goes for the arrest and gives a routine kind of uh, writing for the purpose of his arrest. In such kind of cases the order says that the cognizance should be taken by the competent authority whether it be the registrar of the session court or the, or the chief judicial magistrate that a particular policeman is uh, going through the process in this way. So it is kind of directive which is uh, very important uh, for the purpose of the police officers especially particularly in the cases where the punishment where the offense is of the punishment up to seven years of uh, imprisonment. This is being uh, very much followed in most of the cases in our states. Hope you like this video. Thank you very much.